the Blue Monarch, I knew Mom was coming home. We were gonna be with her every night, and that was just a big difference. To think that this was gonna be a place that I could get better and take care of myself and have my son and be around people that care and, and be in a place that's just like filled with Jesus and God placed Blue Monarch right in the perfect spot. I thought it was very cool for my mom to make that first paycheck in the granola kitchen. I feel like she's accomplished a lot. I've had the amazing privilege of being a part of Blue Monarch since it took its first breath. Um, that was in 2003. This is our 15th year, but I guess it was about the third year that I had a really powerful experience and it showed me that we needed to really focus on the children that we serve. Even though most of the women who come to us have lost custody of their children, we help them become better parents and um, have a better, healthier relationship with their children so they can regain custody or at least reestablish a relationship with that child. And so through our program, uh, over 250 children now have been uh, reunited with their moms. And I'm so proud of that because it has just totally changed the lives of so many families. Before I came to Blue Monarch, I lived in like, you know, smaller, not as clean homes when I was younger. And like, I wasn't always sure if mom was coming home every night or we'd go stay with family members until mom did decide to come home. Didn't really, wasn't really involved in much as far as like, drawing or piano or swimming or any activities like that. And then 15 years later, I know mom's still coming home every night. She's happy, she's done a complete 180 from where she was 15 years ago. I would never have like a, even a Christian foundation in my life if it wasn't for the change and the seed that Blue Monarch planted with her. The um, addiction was very rough. There was never playtime. It was just a very sad, cold moment. It's very happy, you know? And I'm glad that we came to Blue Monarch and changed. Um, life before Blue Monarch was hard. Um, it was exhausting. I often think about, about it now that like I never had a safe place to go. Um, and then I found out that I was pregnant and it got even scarier. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I, I wanted to do the right things, but being so chained by drugs, it was hard to, for me to take that step. Um, you know, looking back, I know that God gave me Tristan because he knew that I couldn't have done it for myself. Um, you know, I was in jail before I came here, and I remember writing my mom and saying, like, if if the court case goes the way that it could go, like, I'm gonna miss out the first 15 years, and it's not fair to him. I was like, you know, talking about, like, my sister taking custody, and I mean, it broke my heart, but, it, you know, at the same time, I was thinking about him, and God placed Blue Monarch right in the perfect spot, and I, I couldn't imagine, you know, not being with him every day. I just feel like I'm where, I'm where and who God wanted me to be, um, and it's because of Blue Monarch. There are a lot of people that don't know what Blue Monarch is, and um, you know they, they pick up this bag of granola with this woman's picture and story in it, and you know that that puts them on their mind, and they pray for these women. And the fact that these people that have never met me, never seen my face, or any of the girls' faces, are praying for their success is amazing. I think that's a testimony in itself. Um, in the Granola Kitchen, it, it offers a great opportunity for women to work um, and earn that first legitimate paycheck and it gives them a sense of responsibility that they may have never had before and it's delicious. <laughs> so we believe that you can really change the life of a child by changing the life of a mother. But what we have also seen is that when you change the life of a child, you change the family tree, which is even better. <laughs>